Hey kids, I'm back. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the bishop. Bishop is a very fast piece. It can go from one side of the board to the other side in just one move. It is also a very valuable piece. You get three points for bishop. Or if you trade bishop, you would trade bishop for three pawns. Let's see now what we can do with the bishop. It moves diagonally. So bishop, look, from here can take the star. Now pay attention. The bishop in the center of the chessboard. This is a center here, right? All this area here is the center of the chessboard. Now, bishop is very powerful, right? Look at look at all those dots. What the bishop can move? Look, we can go diagonally, capture the star, but we can also go backward if you want, right? Now, bishop cannot jump over his own pieces. Right? If you have like a pawn in front of the bishop, you cannot just jump over the pawn. But you can go backwards or forward. See, it's a long range piece. Let's capture this star here, diagonally. Right? Let's see this one. Ooh, here we have many stars. Can we do this? I think I need your help. Can you please help me? Think a little bit with me. How can we capture all those stars? Oh, now I see. There is only one I can take. This one here. We take this star. Which one can we take now? Can I capture this one? No. That's not how the bishop moves. Bishop moves diagonally. So I can take this one here, right? Take this one. Which one now? How about this one? Can we go straight and capture that one? No. No, of course not. We have to go diagonally and take this one, okay? Now we can take this star or we can take this one here. So let's see which one do you want to take. Think about it because we have to take this one on the end. So first we take star on B5 and then we come back diagonally, take the star on E2 and we take the star on D1, okay? We did this exercise. Let's see now here. Oh, we have to think here. I cannot play right away. I must think about this. There are so many different moves that we can do. I try without moving the bishop. Try to visualize how can you capture all those stars. I'm going to give you a little bit of time. Think, think with me. Okay, this is how we can do it. First, we take this star here on B6. Then, we'll come back. This is the only one we can take on E3. Now, we have to be clever here. Look, we have star on H6 and star on C1. So, first, we're going to come back take the star on C1 and then diagonally, diagonally all the way to the other side, star on C on H6. Now we can take star on G7 and all the way, look at this, look at this bishop is really cool, right? We can, in just one move, we can go to the other side of the board and capture the star. Let's see the next exercise. Okay. I think a little bit. Think think without moving the, the bishop. Try to visualize before before you move. Couple of moves ahead. What can we do here? Okay. So let's see. First, I'm going to take start on B3. Now, I have a choice. Take star on C2, take star on A4. Which one is correct? A4 or C2? Correct move is star on A4. We take that one, and then we come back, take a star on C2, then we take a star on B1, D3, and E2. Look, we capture all of them. Ooh, we have a two bishops now. 
Now pay attention when you start a game one bishop is on white color and the other one on dark color they can never change the color they have to stay on the same color all the time throughout the game so this bishop can go and capture this one let's do that all right but well, look at this this one can capture star on d3 all right and now we just go forward right we can we can take this bishop i'm sorry the star and here the star and that's how we get all of them okay let's see this one Ooh, too many stars here can we do this let's think together right which which star can we take now we have to take all of them hmm I'm going to give you a little bit of time and then you'll figure out, okay? So, how about we first start with a white bishop, right? There is only one star we can take. That's this one here, right? On uh, f5. So, we take the bishop, we capture the star, right? Now, we have a choice. We can capture star on c2 or star on h7. So, the correct one is c2 and then we'll come back capture on h7 and then on g8 okay we finished with the with the white bishop now it's easier right the black bishop let's see this one we take on f6 now we have a choice e7 or h4 which one is correct the correct one is h4 so we go back take on h4 then we come back to a e7 and now diagonally we go back and take on a3 look bishop is a really cool piece right it's very fast and uh, the only thing is cannot jump over other pawns right over his own pawns right but it moves diagonally in the same way it captures right now what you need to do is you have to go here to learn right uh, and find that lesson in chess basics and then you can practice on your own and you can practice several times you know just just do it the right way because first time probably it's not gonna uh, be good for most of you but if you if you practice then you are going to get better okay boys and girls i'll see you in our next lesson bye bye